So here's the, uh, the temporary setup in our rental place. We finally got it going. It's been running sort of six or eight weeks now. Everything seems to be working well. Minus three here this morning, so uh, that, hence the beanie. A lot different from Queensland. But as you can see, you know, I put in some uh, lettuce seedlings just right at the very beginning. They've come on really, really well. I've got a bit of spinach happening. Uh, I don't know if you can get in on the temperature there, but the water temperature this morning, 7.2 little solar uh, thermometer there, 7.2, so obviously the water temperature, you know, up in Queensland it was hovering around that 20 degrees, 18, 20 degrees all the time. And, you know, I've got a few ugly pipes around, but generally it's working all right. All the basics are there, and um, everything's working. I'm really looking forward to the weather warming up a tad to see how it goes, but at the moment, it's just too easy. Working like a charm. Yeah, down here in the, in the colder climate, um, I don't have the benefit in this rental place of a, of a nice barbecue area that I did in Queensland. So I've gone ahead and put a roof on two of my systems. Now this one in particular is working really well. It's a bit opaque and it just keeps the frost off, but it certainly hasn't had any you know, detrimental effect on the growth of the plants. In fact, they're benef benefiting, if anything, because it's keeping that really cold, frosty uh, night temperatures off them a bit. And this is another one I did up. Um, I put a bit higher sides on this one and the roof as well, and this is for my seedlings. So they're protected from the cold winds and they get a clear roof here so they get a bit more sunshine on them. One thing that is happening with this system, it's only a new one, I didn't bother painting it, and I'm getting quite a bit of algae growth in here. So I need to paint this so the light isn't penetrating into my water. And I'm even thinking about maybe getting a UV steriliser just to, to put a hole on some of this algae which is sort of going throughout my whole system because of this unpainted IBC. But that's working well for seedlings at the moment, and uh, I imagine when the weather warms up a bit, it's only going to get better and better. Get the water siphon kicking in. I put a um, an inline filter at the the uh, bottom of the pipe that drains from my grow beds, and uh, I've got to clean it out every couple of days. At the moment, you can see there quite a bit of algae growth, and um, I'm just trying to capture a little bit of that and any larger particles of vermiculite before it gets into the sump. I never had that problem in Queensland, so I really need something to address that algae problem in this system. But other than that, you know, everything else is working fine. Um, I think one thing that's been really beneficial for my system is getting fish suited to the climate. I've got rainbow trout in here, they love this cold weather, and they've really grown quickly and you know, brought my system on very well. If I went for something native here in Australia, this time of year they shut right down, they don't eat much, they don't move much and I wouldn't have the same amount of you know, nutrient going through the system. You, know, you can get some other hardy species like carp, uh, goldfish, but um, you know, why not use the trout in the cold weather because I'm going to have a really nice uh, crop of trout at the end of the season. It's going to be great. Yeah, I'll show you one of these. Uh, it's just iceberg lettuce. I might always put them in here as an experiment. But, um, you know, really happy with that. The, the roots are nice and white and clean, they're growing well, there's no algae on them, you know, getting pretty good growth. So overall the system's coming along nicely for a new system. And there's the beauty of aquaponics, you can pick your plant, put him back in again. I love it. <laughs>